She wants to get to the bottom of it. That's it, isn't it? You'd like to get right down to the bedrock. Look at the beast right dead in the eye. You want me to tell you? You want me to tell you what happened? I'll tell you. I might as well. I wouldn't mind hearing it hit the air after all these years of silence. No, don't listen to him. He doesn't remember anything. I remember the whole thing from start to finish. I remember the day he was born. Tell this, he'll be dead to me. That won't be such a big change, Haley. See this girl? This little girl here? She wants to know. She wants to know something more. And I got this feeling that it doesn't make a bit of difference. Okay. I'd sooner tell it to a stranger than anybody else. I'd sooner tell it to the four winds. We made a pact. We made a pact. And we can't break that now between us. I don't remember any pact. See, we were a well-established family once. Well-established. All the boys were grown. The farm was producing enough milk to fill, to fill Lake Michigan twice over. Me and Haley were pointed toward what looked like the middle part of our lives. Everything was settled with us. And all we had to do was ride it out. Then Haley got pregnant again, out in the middle of nowhere. She got pregnant. We were planning on having any more boys. We had enough boys already. In fact, we hadn't been sleeping in the same bed for about <laughs> six years. I'm not listening to this. I can't hear this. Where are you going? Upstairs? You'll just be listening to it upstairs. You go outside? You'll be listening to it outside. Might as well stay here and listen to it. Oh, Haley had this kid, see? The baby boy. She had it. I let her have it on her own. All the other boys I had had the best doctors, the best nurses, the best everything. The one I let her have by herself, this one hurt real bad. Almost killed her. But she had it anyways. It lived. See? It lived. I wanted to grow up in this family. It wanted to be just like us. It wanted to be a part of us. It wanted to pretend that I was its father. She wanted me to believe in it, even when everyone around us knew. Everyone. All our boys knew. Tilda knew. All right. You shut up. Bradley, make him stop. I can't. Tilden was the one who knew. Better than any of us. He'd walk in from here. He'd walk for miles with that kid in his arms. Haley let him take it all night sometimes. He'd walk all night out there in the pasture with it. Taking it, singing to it. He used to hear him singing to it. He'd make up stories. Who? What? Then who? Who's that in there? Is someone in there? Where's my goddamn father? What? Who is that? Who's speaking? Whose voice is that? It's me, your grandfather. Don't play stupid with me. Where's my two bucks? Grandfather? Grandfather? You mean the father of my father? The son of my great-grandfather? That one? When did this start? Where's my bottle? Vincent? Is that you? Vincent? Vincent, who? What is it? Who are you people? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. We thought you were a murderer or something, barging in the door like that? A murderer? No, no, no. How could I be a murderer when I don't exist? A murderer is a living person who takes the life and breath away from another living person. That's a murderer. You got me mixed up with someone else. You get off the porch. What are you doing breaking bottles there? Who are these foreigners anyways? Where did all of you come from? Vincent, what's got into you? Who's that? Who's that speaking? What? You mean you know who he is? Of course I know who he is. That's more than I can say for you, Missy. <laughs> Where's my goddamn bottle? coming out, Vince. I'm coming out and we're leaving anywhere. I just don't want to be here. I want to be far, far away. We never make it. We drive and we drive and we drive and we never make it. We think we get farther and farther away. That's what we think. I'm standing here when everything's falling apart. Can't you rectify the situation? I'm just a guest here, Haley. I don't know what my position is exactly. This is outside of my parish anyway. I'm in the quiet part of town. I don't understand it. I just don't understand it. He was a sweet little boy. There was no indication. There wasn't a mean bone in his body. Everybody loved Vincent. He was a sweet little perfect baby. So weak and perfect. He'll be alright. He just had a few too many. That's all. Being in his sleep like an angel, he would make sure no harm would come. Go ahead. Take over the house. Take over the whole goddamn house. You can have it. It's yours. It's been a pain in the neck ever since the very first mortgage. I'm going to die any second now, any second, you won't even notice. So I'll settle my affairs once and for all. 
The house goes to my grandson Vincent. That's fair and square, and everything that's inside of it. Second, my tools, like all of them, go to my oldest son Tilden, and everything else goes into a giant heap, like a giant pile, in the center of my field, and it, we're gonna set it on fire. And then when it's at its peak, I want you to throw my body in there. With the windows open, the old man's two books flapping right on the seat beside me. It never stopped raining the whole time. Never stopped once. I could see myself in the windshield, my face, my eyes. I studied my face, studied everything about it, as if I were looking at another man. As though I could see his life behind him, like a mummy's face. I I was gonna run last night. I was gonna run and keep right on running, clear to the Iowa border. I drove all night with the windows open, the old man's two bucks flapping right on the seat beside me. It never stopped raining the whole time, never stopped once. I could see myself in the windshield, my face, my eyes. I studied my face, studied everything about it as though I was looking at another man, as though I could see his whole race behind him, like a mummy's face. I saw him dead and alive at the same time, in the same breath. In the windshield, I watched him breathe as though he was frozen in time, and every breath marked him, marked him forever, without him knowing. And then his face changed. His face became his father's face. Same bones, same eyes, same nose, same breath. And his father's face changed into his grandfather's face, and it went on like that, changing clear on back to faces I'd never seen before but still recognized. Still recognize the bones underneath, same eyes, same mouth, same breath. I followed my family clear into Iowa, every last one, straight into the corn belt and further, straight back as far as they'd take me. Then it was all dissolved, everything dissolved just like that. And then the two bucks clicked, flapping on the seat beside me. Bye Vince, I can't hang around for this. I'm not even related. Oh, excuse me father. Just getting rid of the vermin in the house. This is my house now, you know. All mine. Everything. Except for the power tools and stuff. I'm gonna get all new equipment anyway. New plows, new tractor, everything. All brand new. You better go up and see your grandmother. I think you should. It will be the Christian thing. My grandmother? There's no one else in this house. Except for you and me. And you're leaving. She's going to need someone. I can't help her. I don't know what to do. I don't know my position here exactly. I'm quite out of my depths. I'll be the first to admit it. I thought by now the Lord would have given me a sign, some guidepost, but I haven't seen it. No sign at all. Just. Dodge. It's Dodge, is that you, Dodge? Tilden was right about the corn, you know. I've never seen such corn. Have you taken a look at it lately? Dazzling, tall, as it already is. This early in the year, carrots too, potatoes, peas. It's like a paradise out there. Dodge, you ought to take a look. A miracle? I've never seen them like this. Maybe the rain did something. Maybe it was the rain. She wants to get to the bottom of it? That's it, isn't it? You'd like to get right down to the bedrock. Look the beast dead in the eye. You want me to tell you? You want me to tell you what happened? I'll tell you. I might as well. I wouldn't mind hearing it hit the air after all these years. No, it don't. This is not remember anything. I remember the whole thing. Sorry. <laughs> she wants to get to the bottom of it. That's Hello? it, isn't it? She wants to get to the bottom of it. That's it, isn't it? You'd like to get right down to the bedrock. Look at the beast dead in the eye. You want me to tell you? <laughs> Vince, that's enough. Will you knock it off? <laughs> yeah, I want to get out of here. This is enough. Have they got you prisoner in there, dude? I'm coming out there, Vince. I'm coming out there, and I want us to drive away and never come back. I just so just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand.
understand it. I just don't understand it. He was a sweet little boy. There wasn't a bone in his body. Every, every I don't understand it. I just don't understand it. Oh my god. <laughs> The old man's two bucks flapping right on the seat beside me. It never stopped raining the whole time. Never stopped once. I could see myself in the windshield. My face, my eyes. I studied my face. Studied everything about it. As if I were looking at another man. As though I could see his life behind him. Like a mummy's face. I saw him dead and alive at the same time. In the same breath. It would... Bye, Vince. I can't stay around for this. I'm not even related. Oh my god. Did you get over the door?